Hello guys, what I'm going to show you today is how you can combine different Excel files into one Excel file instead of Power BI. Okay, and the first thing you need to do, of course, is to have two different files or multiple Excel files for that matter, and to have them in a separate folder. Okay, so as you can see here, I have two different files, and now we can go directly to Power BI, as I'm going to do here, and we're going to click on Get Data from Other Sources. Now we want to click on folder to import the folder that contains our Excel file. So we're going to click on continue. And we're going to also browse our path that contains the Excel files. We're going to click on OK. And here we have our files. Now what we want to do is go to this green button here and we want to basically tap into the option that says combine and transform data, which is this one. We're going to click on it. And after we do that, it's going to take a few seconds. And there we go. And here you can see basically our Excel files. You can see the first one here. And then you can see the second one in here, right? We're just checking it. After we do that, we can just click on OK. Now, to see that everything is working good, what we need to do is go to the Power Query, which is here. It should open automatically. And as you can see here, we have an extra column, which we don't want, which is the source.name. And we want to remove this, OK? So we're going to click on this drop down menu, and we're going to click on Remove. And then we're going to press on Close and Apply. And if we wait for a few seconds here, we can now see that the changes have been applied. How can we know that? Because if we go to the Table menu, which is on the left bar, we're going to see that both tables have been combined effectively, and there's no extra columns or anything like that, so that's good. Thank you so much.